Have you ever felt paralyzed by fear? Like you're stuck in a safe but unfulfilling life because you're afraid to take a leap. Now, we all know that fear can be a powerful and actually devastating force. But what if I told you it can also be your greatest ally? But in order for it to be useful, you have to be able to identify what it is. And here's the thing. The fear that you think is holding you back might not be the real culprit. Because oftentimes, the surface fear is just a mask for a deeper, more primal one below. And Dr. Carl Albrecht proposed a revolutionary idea. What if all our anxieties and fears can be traced back to just five fundamental fears? Well, it turns out it can. So let's dive into what they are and how you can turn your fears into your greatest allies. The first fear is the fear of extinction. This isn't just about death, but the fear of ceasing to exist entirely, fading into oblivion. It can be the feeling of going through the motions, existing, but not truly living. Sure, you have the nice house, a decent job, you have the trappings of success, but you have a deep gnawing emptiness inside of you. And the culprit might be the fear of extinction. It's the terror of your current life becoming your entire reality, a reality of nothingness, or at least that's how it was for me. And the next one is mutilation. This is the fear of losing a part of ourselves or the thought of having a part of our body or a body's boundaries invaded. Think of the fear of losing a limb or the function of an organ or even an insect invading a crevice of your body. Pretty scary, right? People with this fear tend to have an anxiety around insects, animals, and even relationships because they fear losing a part of themselves which is very similar to number three, which is the loss of autonomy. This is the feeling of claustrophobia, but it extends beyond just physical spaces. It's the fear of being controlled, trapped, or overwhelmed by life circumstances. Think of a job that you can't escape or a life that feels like a gilded cage. For me, it was the feeling of being stuck in an unfulfilling life, unable to break free, and pursue my real passions. I had bills to pay and I needed the security, right? And the thing that can hold us back from doing that is number four, which is the fear of separation or the fear of rejection, abandonment, or isolation. It's the sting of the silent treatment or the worry of not being valued anymore. Maybe in your relationships you crave more connection, but you're afraid to open up because of the fear a further rejection. It might be the fear of separation keeping you from leaving that comfortable life that you've created for yourself. And the last fundamental fear is the death of our ego. And man, I really hate this one because this is the fear of humiliation, the fear of shame, or anything that shatters really our self-worth. It's the fear of being exposed as a fraud or not being good enough. And good enough for what? All right. And from my experience coaching hundreds of high performers, this might be the biggest hurdle that's preventing you from taking the first step towards change. Because you might be afraid of failing or pursuing your passions or fears because of the judgment of others leaving your current life behind. Death of your ego might be the reason that you continue to cling to a life that doesn't fulfill you. Because your fear of failure or being seen less than others is more terrifying than just staying the same. So we've identified the five fundamental fears that are lurking beneath the surface, that are keeping us stuck. But fear doesn't have to be the villain of the story here. Like I said earlier, it can be a tool. So how can we transform it into a powerful tool for growth? Well, awareness is key as usual right? Recognizing fear allows us to stop blaming external factors and take ownership of our choices and most importantly, our responses. So once you've identified the fear, the next step is to find the root. And you can do this by asking yourself, what scenario triggers this fear? Is it giving a presentation? 
death of your ego? Is it leaving a job that we hate, loss of autonomy, or trying out a new workout, perhaps some sort of mutilation there? Once you do that, then find out what's the story I'm telling myself. Maybe it's, I'll look foolish if I fell, death of our ego, or I won't be good enough, ego death again. You can do this out loud or you can write it out in a journal. Because by writing it out or even talking it out, we can start to turn this intangible fear from our head into something more tangible. And once we do that, we can start to break it down and actually challenge the narrative, which is the next part of distinguishing fears is using fear as a fuel. If we can reframe the narrative in our mind, we can start to see fear in a totally different light. So think of this. Instead of seeing fear as a stop sign, you can reframe it as a signal that you're on the right track. You just have to keep going. Think of it like a low fuel light indicator on your dashboard. Yeah, it might be scary, but it tells you to take action and find the nearest gas station. And this is the key to becoming unstoppable. So pause and ask yourself, what is this fear signal? Is it a nudge to prepare more for your presentation? Or is it a push to research career options before quitting the job that you can't handle or you can't stand? You see, you can use the indicators as an awareness to create a plan for action, not as a signal for inaction. So here are some powerful reframes that you can use for each one of your fears. For the fear of extinction, you can say, This might feel scary, but it's a chance to break free from the emptiness and create a life filled with purpose. I have the potential to make real impact on the world, but it starts by taking one leap of faith and following my dreams. For the fear of mutilation, you could say, stepping outside my comfort zone might feel uncomfortable at first, but it won't break me. I'm just shedding a skin that no longer serves me. For the loss of autonomy, taking control of my life might be scary, but I know it's the only way to break free from the feeling of being trapped. And I deserve a life that aligns with my values and my aspirations. And for the fear of separation, this is a big one for me, opening up and being vulnerable might be risky, but it's the key to building genuine connections. And true connection requires courage, but the rewards are immeasurable. Now, I can attest to that one because it was very hard for me to be vulnerable before. But like I said, I realized my inability to be vulnerable was the thing that was killing my relationship. And lastly, for all the overgrown egos, leaving my current life behind might feel like a risk. But the fear of staying the same is more terrifying. And even if it doesn't work the first time, every failure contains a finding, and that finding will lead me to my success. And trust me when I say embracing the unknown and trusting that you have the strength and the resilience to overcome any obstacle on your journey, that is what being unstoppable is all about. You see, fear has programmed us to think. What if you fail? But what if we could ask ourselves, what if I fly? By starting to reframe your narrative, you can use fear as fuel to propel you towards your goal because it starts to become a signal to step outside your comfort zone, not a reason to stay put. And if you want a bonus tip, you can actually create a fear action plan. And that way, whenever you experience fear, you're actually prepared to handle it. Crazy concept, right? So how do you do this? Well, next time you experience fear, write it down. Identify which of the five root fears it is. Then brainstorm some action steps to overcome it next time. That way, when it comes around, you actually have a plan. And this simple action plan can empower you to take control and turn your fear into your own personal growth coach because you know what to do, you know what to expect, and you know how to overcome it. And if you want to dive deeper into overcoming fear and achieving all the goals in your life, check out the link down in the description below. 
And let me know in the comments what fear is holding you back and how do you plan to overcome it. That's it for me. Cheers to you and cheers to your fear.